attention. We know that people don't pay attention to boring things. That's brain rule number four. We also know that the brain is riveted to information with a high emotional content. But what do we know about the brain's ability to multitask? A highly valued talent you supposedly see in the office every day. Hey, dog. What's up? Vader and Company. Oh, hello, Mr. Cat. Your invoice number, um... Uh, uh. Um. Hello? Oh, hey, dog, what's up? Yeah, I'm just talking to dog online. Can you hold on a second? Dander and company. <laughs> Whitehead, I need that report. Uh, yes, sir, I'm just finishing it now. Doggy dog. <laughs> hey, dog, what's up? Whitehead, I need that report. Dog, gotta go. Dog, go oh, sorry. Dog, gotta go. Dog, gotta go. Mrs. Cat. Mrs. Cat? Mrs. Cat? Whitehead? The fact is, multitasking is a myth. Our brains can't do it. You simply become less efficient and more distracted, your error rate goes up 50%, and it takes you twice as long to do the same task. Listen to what Tim Jenkins has to say. He's the co-founder of Point B, a leading business consulting firm. Well, I think there's a fallacy out there that the, the folks that can multitask are more effective. There are times when it's just important to focus on one thing. I think we also give, need to give people permission to check out, to check out of the communications network temporarily to get things done. Because when you're always on, when you're always online, you're always distracted, right? And the brain rule is telling us that that is a very unproductive mode to be in. And so the always online organization is actually the always unproductive organization. And for those of us who use a cell phone while driving, here's a wake up call. Studies have shown that talking on your cell phone while driving is tantamount to driving under the influence of alcohol when it comes to response time. Here's an even less funny story. When I was eight years old, I got hit by a car, but I don't remember anything. There was a school bus approaching that Billy was going to um, get onto with a friend, and there was a 32-year-old woman who was um, approaching the school bus that admittedly saw two boys running toward the bus. Several people said that she was talking on a cell phone and turned her attention away from what she was doing to the point that um, she ended up hitting Billy as he uh, crossed to get on the bus um, with her mirror on the side of the head. Billy was knocked unconscious. He had suffered a traumatic brain injury and that crushed his skull all the way across his, his face. And he was in a life-threatening position at that point. The woman that hit Billy was distracted to the point that she didn't know what she had hit. And therefore, she never put her brakes on after she hit him, according to all the people that stopped behind her, all the people that stopped in front of her, and a school um, bus full of children that witnessed this accident. I said, I want the roads to be safe, and I want people not to um, be um, distracted while they're driving. Billy stated, if, if anybody had to live one day with the injury that I have, they would never talk on cell phones while driving. <laughs>